Hello and good evening to everyone. Um, if you can hear me clearly, please just send um, something to let me know that you are hearing me. Um, solid praying tonight, and I'm believing that um, the network is going to be fair on us. I'm at work, and um, usually network often too stubborn, but I just believe tonight will be beautiful and we will have a good time. Well, um, surprisingly, only like five to six people uh, fed, fed me back with the assignments that we gave yesterday. And um, I am not able to assess as many people as possible based on what we had yesterday. I think we just said the outline yesterday night. We tried to treat the outline. Um, and they, they cannot really pledge. One way or the other, you, you may have to like prove your knowledge by action, by like doing something like an assignment to show that we have it. I mean that I've understood this clearly, and that actually for me is not proven now. But this, this is a free class, and there's nobody under pressure. Um, there's little or, or nothing I can do, but I can just encourage that. We, can, we should try to take our assignment serious so that we can assess ourselves and know uh, our level of proficiency and then we can be able to know whether we are improving or we are not improving. I believe strong assignment really helps in that line. So um, on this basis, I would just want to move forward. Uh, but if you still have, if you have not done the assignments, I'd like to encourage you to do it, please. Um, you can still do it. All you just need to do is... Um, uh just send to my whatsapp or my telegram page or my email whichever one just say let me see and let me assess you those who did the assignment did it fairly well that's the truth they were able to identify the trend and the exception okay and i said this is for me the most important aspect or the most uh crucial aspect of of learning Right. If you don't know this part, you may not be able to really do very, do very well on the data. As a matter of fact, what you draw in your outline is a reflection of what you're going to report. Okay? So let me just go straight to the report writing. Um, I report writing yesterday, I talked about um, the introduction, body one body to an overview yes or oh, maybe i should ask us um how many of us can remind, remind me what we did yesterday just just send the chat um send the message on the chat room so i can see that you actually remembered what we did yesterday we talked about let's just send the message and let me know what did you do yesterday? Where did you stop? And um, what have you learned so far? We talked about tax one, yes, that was the general topic. What about the specifics? Specifics, yes. I'm waiting for us, starting with parameters, yes, thank you. Different between static and mobile. How to write a tax one? Okay. Medical resources. Okay, okay. That was how we started from. Okay, I think we did quite a lot yesterday. So, how to write an outline? Very good. So, so what do you see under how to write an outline? What what were our focuses? What what are our directions? I'm uh, waiting. I, I want to. I, I think I appreciate those who are communicating. Thank you very much. Uh, please, what do you say about that? I want to be sure where we go to determine the data. Okay. Yes, that's correct. Move on. Paraphrase and put units of measurement. Yes. Yes. Seeing the main features. Select the main features. Okay. We are trying to talk about the outline now. Let, let's focus on, on, on the outline. All right. 
let's draw the affair together. Okay. Main features, yes. I like the main features, yes. Go on. Le report on the main features. Ah, this one is broad. This this one is quite broad. List out the group, yes. Yes. Ah, report on the main features is like the second thing with the JS. It's like the the last aspect, let's talk about the outline. How do you draw an outline? Show the trend of data. Okay, very good. So I think Mr. Asas is helping us with a very systematic um, approach of what we did yesterday. And following, please. Um, the issue about making a report, I think, is the last thing we did. So, and we are still going to get there. I, want, I think we did some depth yesterday. Study the exception. Very good. Yes, very accurate. Let's move on. The exception, yes. And um, the final thing. Ah, it's only so. I, I believe the network is Igbo. Aha. Now, the Igbo now is what we actually ended with yesterday. All right. Pick the highest trend and highest exceptions. Very good. So that is concluding outline. So moving on to the introduction now. Yes, we talk about Igbo. Introduction. Ah, question is is where of you know it's a long time ago. Okay, but one body two and overview. So that's Igbo. All right, beautiful. Yeah. So what, what do we say about introduction? So let's go. Oh, uh, let's before we talk about let's let's talk with the China first. Let's let's say okay. Let's have introduction. What what do you say about introduction, please? How should it be written? Let's focus on introduction now. Introduction. How how do we how do we say it should be it should be written? Yeah. Somebody says something about it. Let me see. It's said all something about it. Backwards. So um if you have anything perfect anatomy of measurement perfect hundred percent hundred percent it's easy to say but but difficult to do um I think I, I made some rules about nouns verbs what you can use if you can remember very well the kinds of what you can use and all that <laughs> I remember. All right. So let's go to the body one, body one, body one. Let's go to the one. Well, add it up now. Yes. Now let's go to body one, please. Body one. Waiting for us. Hmm. Let me see. Body one, trend explanation. Yeah. Figure illustration, yeah. That's perfect. We are clapping for for Feng, Feng Tola Busayo, Mr. Sass. Uh, come on, yes, I'm clapping for you. Let's see. Okay. Let's move on, please. Got the key here. Cash here. Yeah. Uh, the second Peter transformation. I have to finish up. So, so I talk about CCTV. All right. What is CCTV, please? Did I did I make any clear about CCTV yesterday? Can you can can we just help me? Did you really do anything clear about CCTV yesterday? 
CCTV. What you do share about CCTV is the place who can help us. CCTV connecting device, yes. Changes, yeah. Time, yeah. That's a great value. Who's our task is getting the award? All right, okay, that's perfect. I'll get you. Thank you, Mbola. Thank you. Now, value case, it's not value. <laughs> value. All right. Now, um, I, will, I said I'll be talking about useful language today. Yeah. So I think we all tried. We did well. Now, um, for collective devices, if you are going to be starting up your essay, there's a way you're expected to start that is going to um, help you to um, at least show that you are um, aware of what it looks like to start an essay, all right? The first thing is, you write a creative device. First of all, to start with, to begin with, initially, on the one hand, um, you can also say, uh, firstly, then, you can also say regarding X, that X stands for the noun that you are dealing with, the focus of the of the essay. That's that's the X. Um, regarding so and so, you can it can be it is it is clear that it is seen that it is seen that so and so. So you can use that one too as a connective device. All right. Now I get my camera well because my Positioning is not so good. It's just open for me now. I've said that um, we move to the second aspect, which is your changes. Changes can be written in three ways. There are three certain structures for changes. The first one is the, using the word dear, then the tenses, dear was. Then you talk about the change. I will put an adjective or an adverb. Then just say there was an increase, or there was a decrease, or there was a this or that. Always remember to put an adjective or an adverb. So maybe a sharp increase, or uh, um, okay, you can't use an adverb in this case. You can only use an adjective. So and when, whenever you use an adjective, the next word will be a noun. There was a sharp increase. Um, in the year so and so, at so and so. That is an example. And that's the structure. The second structure you can use is oh, with the time. 1991 saw a sharp increase in so and so. So that's, that's another way you can write. Write it. 1991 saw a sharp increase in so and so, at then you now talk about the value. The topic you can write is to start with the noun itself. Rice increased sharply at so and so. Rice increased sharply at so and so. Okay. Now, these are formats. But then, um, one rule is this do not write the same format in subsequent sentences. Uh, what do I mean? To start with, comma. There was an increase in rice. Likewise, there was an increase in beans. Likewise, there was an increase in Gary. What do you get in grammatical inaccuracy? Zero. Because there's no creativity. So that is the reason why you have the other sentence structures, so that you can always change it. So when you say there was an increase in rice uh, uh, in 1999, at so and so. Likewise, rice uh, beans increased at the one that we're talk about the third one. Similarly, all right. Um, 1990s so and so saw a sharp rise, in, and then I will say that you don't write the same sentence structure. You do not write the same vocabulary repeated. As a matter of fact, one vocabulary should not be mentioned twice in the essay except to change the form of the verb to a noun, or except to change the, um, the, 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 
the, uh, the qualifier or drop. What does that mean? If I say rice increased sharply, I must never mention increased sharply to half the SA anymore. I can say rice rose sharply. And that sharply, I should not also repeat it. I can say sharp rice. That is a different form. That's a noun. So it is actually acceptable at that level. But I must never repeat that same word increase sharply throughout my essay. And that's the issue about creativity in writing. Try not to repeat words, I mean, the words, no matter the pressure. And what does that give us? Knowing useful languages for vocabularies. Increase. I think I made some, some I mentioned some yesterday, and um, I think there are so many of them. So just kind of look for these vocabularies in their number, have it in your band, and try to like check over them. You will only get better in using them. I've, I've set some rules. Number one, never repeat a set a sentence structure subsequently. Number two. Never repeat a vocabulary in the, the whole of the essay. Try to use other words, whether by adjective or by adverb or by noun or by verb. Never repeat. Another rule is this. Every time you mention figure, always, anytime you mention a change, always add a figure for your body paragraph. Every time you mention a change in figure, maybe you said, sharp increase or slow decrease or fluctuation at so and so always put the figure always put the figure the figure is the proof that you're not lying and so that is very very important now when you now have more than one figure Maybe you have to, uh, you have to, like, see many figures earlier. You can, you can just turn them to rates. That is, rice, beans, gary at the rate of five to ten kilograms in so and so year. Or, I mean, I mean rice, beans, and gary increased within the rate of, so I mean, as ten and ten, within the rate of so and so and so and so. That is a way to. You know, avoid repeating too many words. There's a penalty. There's a there's a penalty for repeating words. There's a penalty for repeating forms of sentences. So avoid those penalties and try to focus your essay around the norm that is going to fetch you your score. Okay. Now, all what I just explained now is applicable to exception. But there are some there's certain words you can use to introduce your exception. I mean, to introduce your exception. Um, we have, on the contrary, we have um, to start, I mean, uh, we have um, conversely. Conversely. On the contrary, conversely. Then we have, um, uh, uh, in 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 contrast in contrast comma okay so and then we also have however however all right however so all these words can be used um to start an exception okay and do not forget to note the words you use to buttress on the other hand, okay, that one's also possible. It's possible for, for use. Or those other ones are stronger than on the other hand. Okay? Because it's more or less talking about opposites, which is similar. So, the thing I, again is you can also use, use like the principle I mentioned earlier. Don't, um, uh, don't just copy everything you are saying. You, you, you make sure you give your, your extension or your exception, a very good uh, uh, presentation. You write something that reflects that it's an exception, and that's your conscious device on the other hand, okay, and all that. Now, there's one more thing I want to introduce you to. When you start about the one paragraph, you can start with an explanation of all 
um, the trends in that particular data. You can just say a summary of the trends in that data. That's all right. To start with, rice, beans, and garlic had an increased trend through the period at so and so. You may not put the day because I only make an announcement. You should talk about rice, how it grew, okay? How it moved to the point it got to and how it ended. You should talk about it. But just to give a brief, um, you know, intro or a brief, a kind of, try to let people know that this is what you're going to meet in the essay. That explanation is very important and it's going to really help a lot. Okay? So I will say that um, I will be liking all it, and I believe most of us have checked check the book. What you need to do is open the book and read it like you want to actually read it. That book is going to really, really help with your tax one. A lot of help. A lot of help. So I will encourage that you take that book and read through. Just go through all the you know modalities that has been explained, and then you're going to find it easy. So I, um, the words you can use to entertain and you can make, but the key you is that your vocabulary should be flowing, so that you have to have the force at your fingertips, and you not have to like, you know, think too much. Ah, what am I supposed to do? You have them at your fingertips. Useful languages are actually key, and they really help a lot to make you to know what to write about. There are some words you cannot change. I'm pleading with you, learn these things now. The way you try to explain your, your, your information in particular data should be very symmetrical, and there are some words you cannot change. Just make it, make it a kind of norm that this is the pattern I'm trying to use. I will not change it. So, you know, we can actually uh, 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 use that material that I sent to us to assess these words. All right? And if you still want further, further use of materials, let me know, but that material will be good for a lot of people. So, having said all of this about tax one, hmm, I'd like us to try and see if we can, you know, have a kind of live example. I want to see if we can just do a live example of tax one together between now and the end. And have I, I, I mentioned overview? I think I've not mentioned overview.
apologies for the sudden cut off. I I just think um <laughs> just, just a little bit of technical stuff. Now uh, I said I wanted to want to try a kind of live um live exercise and then we hope to see after get through with that without struggle. Um let me uh, I want to try and pick a random walk around and see if you can try and uh, answer it. Um I just uh, I don't know whether we will be able to see this, see this at a glance, but um, let me just, I'll, I'll just, I'll just try and, I will let us know the figures I'm working on. All right, let me bring this very popular work. Now, everybody get ready, you want to do a little test. We are going to be working with, with, with this for the next 30 minutes. Now, write this question down. All right. The back chapter we can do the same check. Is that possible? Um, so you just all you just need to do is just write out the or or write um just give me just copy up the um the introduction. Okay. Yeah, I'm pasting it on Telegram page now. If you can quickly just snap out of here, go to Telegram page, you're going to find it there. All right. So, that, so if you're not able to get on Tele Telegram, you say what? It's on Telegram page in the next few seconds right now. So if you cannot see it there, don't worry. I'm going to just, I'm, I, will, I will call it out. Then I will expect you to. All, all I want you to do for me is this: write out the um, introduction for me. This is the way it goes. The bar chart below shows the average monthly maximum temperatures. Average monthly maximum temperatures for three Australian cities in the year 2016. Average. Monthly, of course, the, the thing about what I'm doing right now is that you may not be able to um, draw the outline. And if you cannot draw the outline, I'm sorry, you will not be able to do the text. So I've sent the Telegram page. If you can get it there, beautiful. All you have to do for me is find a way to um, get it done. Um, Find a way to get it done. Just, I want to do this introduction, type it and send it on the chat. Let me see it here live. The, I, I, I'm giving us two more minutes, please. Two more minutes. Type and send on the, on the platform here in the chat room. So are we doing it? I, I, I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any answers here too. Okay, I think the answers are coming in now. One minute. One more minute. Ah, is there? You don't tell. <laughs> I'm 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 advantaged with network tonight. I'm speaking positively. No room for negative talk. Now let me say this: if you don't do this um, exercise, I will assume that you did not come for the class. So. <laughs> All right, because I gave us assignments, we have not done it. So the only way I can prove. Are, that you are getting this is 
Do 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 home work. Uh -huh. So this is I mean I'll, I'll do class work. Let me put that work me that way. Do class work. So this is our, our class work now. Okay. Nobody has submitted after introduction should not take one minute. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Azan, are you doing it? Too? Okay, it's like your future is first. I want to I want to check around to see if I, people are doing this. Uh, mommy, mommy, I don't show you doing it. Uh, okay. Well, let me call him again. But please, let's let's get it done quickly. Okay, I think I'm seeing somebody saw me. The back chat describes the monthly median highest. <laughs> See, beautiful. I like median. Highest temperature for Melbourne, Darwin, and Pete. Units are measured. Units, units is measured in. I think it's, no, it's one unit now. So, how many units are we measuring? Units is measured. Okay. All right. The pigs, okay. So I think we are done with that. Now let everyone draw. Now we are about to really enter into the into a very dicey one. Let everyone draw the outline. I'm giving us five minutes to draw the outline. Five minutes. One, two, go. Draw the outline of this. Only three people submitted anyway. So and I've noted those three people. Maybe I can just offer something to them. <laughs> Not promising, but anything could happen anyway. So let's see. Okay. Please let's submit here, please. It will be easier for me to see it here than on the telegram page. Okay, though I've seen some answers go. But I will I will appreciate if you can do it here so that we just all together we can check it from here. Okay, so we are drawing the outline and we are stopping by, by 21.40. I think everybody that I saw write this wrote quite well. Okay, now, so that I will not waste your time, once you say it's a static data, just know you missed it. That's all. Look at it very well. So. I don't want you to waste time writing too many things. Once you say it's static data, you missed. So I will not end up writing too many things. Now only two people are doing this. I expect it to be. Okay. All right, beautiful one, beautiful one, beautiful one. Beautiful one, body question. Okay. Of in three, no. As as an, I'm not getting this. Of in three, no. It's not clear. Let me write it again. Sorry, if if it's not comfortable for you to do it on this platform, you may just do it on the Telegram panel. But I I I, I didn't want, I don't want us to be only here at us. That's why if you should just do it straight on here. Okay. Why can't I join? Ah. <laughs> I, I, right now, I don't know that I can answer any question on Telegram.
Okay, I'm not participating in this because I'm yet to know. Yeah. Aya. I'm yet to understand. Ah, my God. Have you seen that? Okay. Everybody, now, please. Uh, the, the the mommy or the auntie speaking about not understanding. Ah. Did you start with us? Oh, and have you been able to go through the YouTube stuff? Well, everybody's getting so far, everybody's getting it. Okay, Rachel, you are right. That's beautiful. Okay, I, I, I think you, you were able to, to get through. If you wrote static data, you are wrong. So please check it again. It's a movement from, the, from January to December, so it's not static. Okay. Mrs. TJ, you are doing well. Ma, um, Ma Modupe, how do we do this? Maybe after the class, we may just have a section. Personal. Maybe. Okay. But so far, people are getting it. Now, the, the funny thing is that I'm only seeing like five people that are answering the question. And we're about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 so I expect that place to be loaded and bombarded. There's like 10 people are trying to see, struggling to only <laughs> see a few responses. Uh, I, okay. Now everybody is getting their client number three. Now from number four to five, I've seen somebody show you, I've seen, I've seen promises of, People getting to answer them. I'm, I'm, in, I'm impressed. Now, but somebody has actually gotten it. I, which was really three factor? No, 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 no. I, I, no, I, please, but check. Check what I sent on the Telegram page, man. It's not about me, three factor. All right, I think we are through now. It's 40 minutes. Is it? Ah. Wow. Ah, yes, trends. All right. Beautiful, Melbourne. Ah. No, uh, Rachel, which one is this one? No, ah, no, Rachel, you have missed that. No, 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 no. something is wrong there. You have missed it. Let's find somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all I'm waiting for is just one person to get that point of um, the highest trend and, and lowest strength, and I'm yet to see. Uh, I'm yet to see. So, once I see that one, trend. Wow, Olua, I think you are getting it now. Now, what is your highest strength, please? What's your highest strength? What's your highest strength? Uh, no, if you mention months, you are wrong. It's, no, 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 no. Months are not involved at all. Months are not, not months does not have any business with this stuff. We are talking about three cities. So months are nothing to write them about. Mr. Alzas, you missed that. <laughs> It was a trap. <laughs> you missed that. Okay. I'm going to explain and then we can move forward to the body. All right. So somebody has finally missed number one. I mean, number four. Okay. So, but uh, uh, at least some have missed number two. Okay. Um, Okolo, you got it right. Okolo, uh, you got it right. Okay. That one, if you, if you said, if you say I send this down, you missed it. If you say I send this down, you missed it. You got it right. So please, if you can see what is happening, exception Melbourne. No, Melbourne is not the exception. Melbourne is not the exception. Ah. See, they're not thinking. No. So that's all their sins. Ah, it's, too, it's a small page, it's very tiny thing like that. Ah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. Now, 
You see, okay. Mrs. Dockers, beautiful. Please, if you are checking the chat room, check Mrs. Dockers' work. That is the sample. Please, if you are, um, everyone check Mrs. Dockers' work. Yeah, that is ex 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 exactly. Mr. Dockers, please check Mrs. Dockers' work. Perfect work. Perfect work. So now, I, 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 think, I think we are, yeah, very well, very beautiful. Now, I, I think we are getting this. It's simple. You see, once you get the outline, you are getting the essay. Now, we're going to start to draw the essay right now. Time has gone. I think we have tried. Now, let somebody draw um, body one paragraph. Remember, let me tell you how to draw it. Just relax. Start with a connective device to start with, to begin with. Write that down. Comma, then try to describe, try to explain the trend. And what, how do you do that? I'm dictating to you now, so just follow what I'm trying to say now. So whatever you're doing, just stop. And hear what I want to say. You, you start with the connective device to start with, to begin with, and all that. Comma, then you move on to try to let us know the number of trends. Okay. So it's, you, you start, you start this way. Pet and Melbourne. were observed or pet and member had a decrease and increase had a decrease and increase in temperature in average monthly temperature from the beginning to the end of the period so that is explaining the trend. That is what you call explaining the trend. You are trying to let us know these are the trend. Now you're going to now focus more on, on, on pets now. All right. Now you may continue that sentence by saying as or, or you may just put a full stop and say, pet began with the highest temperature for, for that city. Or pet began with the highest temperature of 25.3 degrees Celsius. before falling gradually through the other month, through the next month till July, or till it got to July with the lowest temperature of, I think 18.8 .8 degrees Celsius. Full stop. It then began to rise gradually till it reached twenty four point whatever in December. Full stop. Likewise, likewise, Melbourne. You have already said like so you don't have to say member follow the same pattern. Or otherwise you can say member follow the same pattern without putting like I just say member follow the same pattern with its highest average monthly temperature at the beginning of the month. All right. At so and so. It took a deep you don't say it's fair because of you have used fair. It then took a dip and fell to the least temperature of the three cities at so and so. It fell to the least temperature of the three cities at so and so. After which there was a rise to so and so at the end 
of the period. By saying that, you have finished talking about the trend, full stop. Then you now move to a second paragraph, which is your exception. A second paragraph, which is your exception. However, or in contrast, however, or in contrast, that will dwindle, or no, the, the, the average monthly temperature for Darwin dwindled from January to December. Full stop. At the start of the period, January temperature stood at so and so. Can we, can somebody, can we complete that essay? Let me not just feed those with everything. Can we complete that? There was a peak towards the end. So let, let me just help us with this. Then the other ones, you try to complete it. It stood at so and so at the beginning of the period, after which it took an upward movement to April at 32.7 degrees Celsius before, before plunging gradually to a low of 30.5 degrees Celsius in July, which served as the month for the low temperature, which served as the month for lowest temperatures for the three cities. Full stop. There was a gradual growth in temperature afterwards till it reached its peak of 33.3 degrees Celsius, which was the highest for the entire uh, for the for the three cities, which was the highest for the three cities. Before it finally took a slight reduction, at the slight reduction at 32.6 degrees Celsius in December. That is all. Now, I don't know if you were able to get that. Okay, yeah, no, no. Was to... <laughs> or, or was I too fast? I I could, yeah, you are too fast. <laughs> yeah. I jump many things. Okay. Okay. I now, could, I, I don't know whether you observed. You didn't pick everything. Now, 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 I'm sorry, they just took lights here, but don't worry. You can hear my voice. Now, I, I, I don't know whether you observed any variation in um, what I tried to dictate to you. And this actually. I will have to explain because if you do not understand this variation, you may just think I'm just saying everything not fine. Now you observe that I started to explain starting, I started to make presentation from the trend, which served as my first paragraph. Then I moved to the exception, which served as my second body paragraph. Now this is a very strategic way to write your essay. Your trend starts the essay with the first paragraph. You give a, a expansion of the trend in your first sentence after you have given out your uh, connecting device. Then you now try to pick the trends one after the other. You talk about the way it moved through the period, and then you talk about the second trend, which is the other trend explanation, 
how it moves through the period, and then you make take notes if it had a significant feature. Now, if you remember very well, I, I said something like um, lowest temperature of the three months, highest of the three months. Take note of those parts mm -hmm. because they are significant aspects, and you need to like point out that you actually observed it. So you have to you know write it there that okay, this is the highest of the entire period. This is the lowest of the entire period. And what that does is it gives your essay a very simple expression before your examiner while you are still being um, uh, very uh, professional and academic in your work before you now talk about the exception. Now, here is the issue. The, con the useful languages you will need to use, you can't cram them in your head at the beginning of all these exercises. You need, a, a, like, like you need to have a sample of these things that you can always check, so that every time you check it, you will be able, you'll be able to like, okay, I think I'm, I'm standing at par with these stuffs, and I think I know them. I don't know that you get my point now. Many of the times we assume that we will remember, when we get the exam, we get stuck. But as you keep on writing and you have these things at your fingertips, you will keep checking at them and trying to apply them so that before, you, before long, it becomes part of your normal writing over time. So um, I'm going to ask us to write that essay. Just write it in your own words, but follow the pattern I actually described and submit to me, send to me. I will just go through, I will glance through, and I will probably make a few corrections on it. All right? Now, I didn't talk about overview. I won't talk about that as a final um, discussion for tonight. By tomorrow, Thursday, uh, I will be talking about processes and diagrams. That's tomorrow. And then Friday, we are going to have a mini test on tax one, just to like help us to know if you have understood. Now, overview is the most important aspect of your um, body one para and body one essay and tax one essay. If your essay lacks an overview, it lacks a life. And as a matter of fact, you may not get a seven if that happens. So, what is your what, what does your overview entail? It entails the highest trend and the lowest strength with any other significant figure in your paragraph, in, 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 your, in your data. The highest strength, lowest strength, and any other figure in your data. You start up with um, overall. This is the way you normally start your overview. Overall, you can also say in summary, comma, it can be seen that when you talk about the highest strength, all right, why when you talk about the lowest strength, then However, then you talk about this and this most significant issue you have discovered. So all those places, higher strength, and you say you won't just say higher strength every time. Just say overall, comma, it can be seen that rise. Or let, let, let's use this particular essay. Overall, it can be seen that Fed add a decrease and increase through the period while that will fluctuate through. Now you may even talk about pet and Melbourne because there, there's nothing significant about pet except that in this and the case. Just say Melbourne and pet and Melbourne are the case and the case. Why um that one throughout. However, Darwin was the highest of all of all of, of the three cities. That one had the highest temperature of the three cities. So it's just to pick anything significant that you can observe apart from the highest strength and the lowest strength. And you always start with however, if you talk about that. Now you, you don't have to write that exact thing I mentioned. You could just say, to, um, to begin, I mean, um, sorry. Overall, it can be seen that while that will fluctuate through the period, Melbourne increased and decreased, then increased. However, the uh, highest temperature was formed 
in in pets in the month of November. Can add that one too. Full stop. So that, however, is specially for any special case that is observed in that. And that pattern can be used for all manner of essays. The, the trends, exceptions, and um, So simply, I will, um, I will encourage you can ask yourself if you are trying to write an overview with a um, wrong outline because you are, if you don't be sure that you wrote something wrong. So, um, before I round off, I'd like to ask if you have questions from this very beautiful class. Some people will say, which beautiful class? Very beautiful. But no problem. Um, I just want to assume that you understood what, what we discussed. Um, but then, please, if you have questions, you can just ask right now. Yes, hello, Mr. Steve. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm a little bit... Your face. So, okay. Yeah, I think I'm able to, to, able to Okay. Are you are you seeing my face? Yeah, you can yeah, yeah, I can see your face. Okay, okay, yeah. I I'm a little bit lost on the train. In fact, I've been ruminating about it because for pets, if you look at if you look at the graph, I, I can share the graph and I can share it on my phone, so I'm looking at it now. Uh, I think Darwin has the graph. That, Darwin is the one that has a big. Uh, are we, are we, is this color the now? Or green? Yeah. Okay, so that's Darwin. If you look at the graph, Darwin, Darwin is the highest. Also. Every of Darwin by is about above 30. It's above 30 each cycle. Okay. Yeah. But um, the reason why we said that one was the exception is yeah. because it's a static data. Yeah, that means a movement data. Now, if it was static data, everybody yeah. that said that one would have been correct. But when you talk about movement data, the exception is the pattern with the least group. Yeah, now, okay. So look at that graph. You can see two patterns. The first pattern is the fluctuation pattern. The second pattern is the decrease and increase. Okay. If you look at it very well, the decrease and increase happened in pet and Melbourne. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. So, because it happened in pet and Melbourne, they have the highest, they are the pattern with the highest number of groups. And that is the rule. When you have the pattern with the highest number of groups, are you, are you, are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. All right. Okay. So it's two so, to one. Okay. So when you have but, the pattern yeah, with what? the highest number, I said it's two to one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's two to one. Yeah. So when you have the pattern with the highest number of groups, then it is very easy for you to make a choice. Because um, the pattern with the highest number of groups becomes a trend. And then the pattern with the least number of groups become your exception, which you can see in that one. So that one is fluctuated, and there was no other um, city that fluctuated except that one. Why two cities decreased and increased? That will become our trend. The strategy behind it is simply to help you to be able to find your data properly. In movement data, we, we define patterns. In static data, we define value. So in static data, the highest value is different. That is in static. Now, in this data, 
That's the reason why if you have, if you make a wrong choice of the kind of data, you will make a wrong choice of the trend and the reception too. And that's the reason why I said if you, if you make if you set a standard data initially, you are going to be having problems of defining what was the trend of the reception. So if you are sending the standard data. Everybody will that will be correct, but if you cannot say so because it's moving from January to December. December. That's a that's a movement pattern. That's the gotcha. dynamic, and that is the reason why. Yeah, I hope you understand this. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it now. Thank you very much. Yeah, that is just it. So we are we always describe the trend first. We always describe the trend. Do you understand me? Hello. Yeah, hello, please. Hello. Hello, please. Hello. Hello, I can hear you. Okay. I yes. I actually I, I thought on. I don't know. This place is dark. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Now. Uh, yeah, I, I actually thought. Uh, the the person that just asked the question, I thought in that perspective before that yeah that it should be the uh, Darwin that has the IS continually. You understand? Should be the trend because of obviously it it, it was leading all through from January to December, and then yeah. uh, we could I yeah. I was if if. Previously, before this class, if I were to write it, I would be like, Darwin, uh, Darwin was the highest, and then, though, however, it fluctuated all through the months, you understand, but it was still the highest, compared to Pets and then Melbourne. That's what I, I would have thought before. Well, I didn't know that this, the, the trend, the, I mean, the static, the movements or the static actually, Changes the the outline like the way yeah. it should be. Yeah, very perfect, very perfect. Um, and that is actually the basis. I'm sorry, lights is off again, but no problem. I, I believe you can hear my voice. So yes, and the, the the basic principle about um, knowing the difference between movement and static data is so that you can have a proper description. Now, if you are going to describe this data, starting with that one. All right, mm -hmm. you are going to be um, likely by us in your description. Let me explain what I mean by this. Um, you, you will very likely say, um, uh, okay, Darwin, Darwin, um, I don't know, you, you, let, me just, let me try and draft a essay with Darwin being the first. Okay, to start with, Darwin was so, uh, Darwin from the throughout the period, okay, starting with so and so in January. Moved to this thing with March in March, then came down and which um to whatever which was which was the highest in July. I mean the, the lowest in, in the of, of I mean the highest. There will likely be a bias because you're dealing with movement data, you are talking, you are dealing with patterns, and your patterns is going to be the, 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 I mean, it's, the pattern is going to define your explanation of every of the essays. Am I making sense to you, please? So if your pattern is not is not giving attention, you will lose the interest of your examiner. Because your, your examiner will expect you to know that patterns is precedence with movement, while values is precedent with static data. So the moment you begin to explain the values, your essay might become clumsy. Now, some could get away with it anyway, all right? You could just find the way around it, and then you are able to, like, just escape from any crisis of, crisis of that. But the bottom line is that you have not written a correct essay. And that is actually the issue about not following the normal pattern in, in your description. I'll look together, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that is just it. And I hope that we can apply this even when we see, because they will always bring this kind of stuff. Now, let me show you a particular, I, I, there was a particular data I saw. Very surprising. Now, just put it in your mind, all right? It was a graph, 
all right? It was a concept of USA, Italy, Sweden, and Portugal. Just, just from flow with me. USA, Sweden, Italy, Portugal. Now, USA was the highest, but it decreased through the period. All right? While Sweden increased and decreased, but it was the second. Then we now have um, Italy increased and Portugal increased. Italy increased, Portugal increased, but they are the lowest of the own graph. So here you have the highest to the USA coming down. Um, Sweden move up and down. Why Italy and Portugal increased? So, my friends, which one will you choose as your trend? And that was, that, that's a question that came, a life question. Which one will be your trend? Now, if it was me before, that when I do all this, I would just say USA is the highest. It decreased from the beginning to the end, followed by Sweden that went up and down. Then um, I will not talk about the other two. Now, in that kind of way, the examiner will know, I don't know that pattern is involved in this matter. It will, it will definitely know. But from what we have known now, thank you very much, Italy and Portugal. And it's so easy, you just write down. Now, you will now have a very clear however, which will be that USA was highest through the period. Was, we maintain is maintain the highest number. That is a special feature. And then that is going to be now be seen clearly in your in your exception. That is, you make it clear that USA had the highest figure, even though it decreased. Your that mm -hmm. essay will collect a very massive score because of the logical progression. Because in when you are dealing with um this kind of essay uh, movement that are you are focusing more on patterns and not values. And the highest trend may actually be the lowest value. That's a very, very funny aspect when you deal with these mm -hmm. stuff. Okay? So one should really be careful about this and then get it, get it right. So I don't know whether we, we still have other questions. But I think I'm pleased that people were able to ask. And I expect probably we will see. Now somebody asked some, let me see the questions in the chat room and uh, let me try and answer. Somebody said, is it compulsory to add the unit of measurement to the introduction because in the book you sent to the Telegram page, you need to indicate that. Well, I believe it is compulsory because you, your examiner will to know um, that you are actually dealing with um, this particular uh, kind of unit. Now, there are some units you cannot mention as, I mean, as units, like people. You can't mention people as units, okay? There are something now. If if you are probably you just, I think you can just always look at it and know um, how it works out. All right. Now I said, sir, for the highest exam, which kind of data is what? Ah, I don't know. Sometimes you might find anything. I've seen a, a, a particular essay where the the, um, the the first graph is movement data, second graph is static data. So how do you do with that one? And you know, and you have to answer. So sometimes they mix it up. All you just know is that when you have more than one graph, the first body is going to be on the first graph. So you write your trend and section in that body. Then your second trend, and the second graph, I mean the second um, paragraph is going to be focusing on that second graph. That's the way it is. Okay? okay. So I don't know whether we still have other questions so that we can end the class for tonight. Okay, it looks to me that everybody is um, enjoying the breeze of the night. So we want to end up tonight in such a beautiful manner of not asking questions. Okay. So, all right. Um, I will call on Mr. Bayer to speak to us. He uh, uh, is the chief coordinator of this um, of this class, so at least to hear his voice before we all leave. I'm so grateful to go for the network. So we try to form. 
So. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, hello, sir. Good evening. Good, I'm evening. Sure Good evening, sir. You guys had a nice class. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll be brief. I'm on my way home. I just, I just need to okay. say, just, just keep going. Just keep going. Well done, Mr. Stephen. Um, Thank you very much. If you can share this opportunity with others, it'll be great. Um, you can just share the YouTube link with them and they can join. Um, I just had to pull over so I can just do a quick hello and, and goodbye. Uh, bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Good bye. night. Bye, Mr. Bella. Bye. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Light off again. Okay, we are in Nigeria. Okay, so um, I guess we have um, we had a great time tonight. I will put in some assignments on the page, and um, we uh, we expect to submit. And um, I hope we have a great day tomorrow. Um, tonight, stroke tomorrow. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Steve. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thank good you. night. Good night. Yeah. Night, night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Good night, sir. Yeah. yeah. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah.